So it's about time I made the Scorpion on the channel. I'm making a single serve version, so it's very easy to make at home. I believe the Scorpion Bowl originated back in around the 1940s by Trader Vic. The recipe did differ from, from what I'm doing today. In particular, he liked to use a Puerto Rican rum that also incorporated some gin in there. And then apart from that, it's all it's all pretty similar, but this is a scaled down version, so you can serve it for, for one person. I do know Smuggler's Cove changed the lemon juice to lime juice, and then they reincorporated the gin back into their rest, their house recipe. So yeah, this is just an easy one to make at home. Let's get straight into the drink. So first we want to start by juicing some fresh orange juice. Uh, we just need one ounce, 30 ml. It's not much juice in this orange. Oof, that was average. Well, hopefully I have enough. And shout out to Adam from Elevated Craft for sending me uh, some samples, a cocktail shaker, and his new glass that he just released. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you've seen me do a review of uh, his Elevated Craft cocktail shaker once before. This is their newly released gunmetal gray prototype. And then they've also done an insulated glass, perfect for picnic or camping cocktails. Um, so I'm gonna use this shaker for today's cocktail. Tiny bit shy, but one ounce, 30 ml of fresh orange juice. Then we have your choice of rum, a lighter style rum, Puerto Rican, Cuban, one ounce, 30 ml. So the shaker itself is vacuum insulated, keeps your hands warm. Uh, Pierre Ferrand 1840 formula cognac, one ounce, 30 ml. And then we've got equal parts of simple syrup. So 15 ml, half an ounce and fresh lemon juice. Hopefully I get a little bit more juice from this lemon compared to that orange. So that was half an ounce, 15 ml. And last ingredient, Orzhar. Uh, I'm using Liber & Co. This is the first time I've actually tried the Orzhar. I've tried lots of their other syrups and they also sent me some samples. This is probably my favorite Orzhar recipe or, or commercially available Orzhar that I've tried. Some of them are really like um, marzipan-like. Uh, this has got a really nice fresh almond, but that floral kind of note to it, which Orzhar should have. That was one quarter ounce, 7.5 mil of Orzhar. We're good to go, we're good to shake. This is served with crushed ice and you can whip shake this one. So many add a little bit of pebble ice, give it a shake, not too long. We want a little bit of dilution and we want to chill it, but we don't want to uh, over dilute. So keep that in mind. Little bit of pebble. It's one sleek looking cocktail shaker and glass to match uh, it's glass with little increments little measurements on the side so you can measure it anywhere from one ounce up to six ounces and this one here we're just going to dump the contents of the cocktail shaker and proceed to top it with more pebble ice nice and simple garnish part of wedge throw it in the top and a couple of pineapple spears nice and simple and of course, serve with a Surfside Sip, surfsidesips.com, coupon code STB20 to get 20% off. Perfect, that looks like a great drink to me. My hand's nice and warm. I actually, I, I like that it's got this extra little lip so you can see the drink, uh, as opposed to if that gunmetal gray sheath came all the way up top, then you wouldn't be able to see the drink, but this looks great. Cheers. Yeah, that's the first time I've tried this recipe and it's delicious. Even though you've only got a quarter ounce, seven and a half mil of the Orjar, it's a really nice addition. You get that almond flavor throughout. Very, very subtle floral note to it. Beautifully balanced cocktail. And I'd be very keen to compare this to the Smuggler's Cove recipe with the gin and subbing the lemon to lime. But as this is, I really enjoy it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.